Hello, this is Martha McCoy with the Chinook Channel Cooking Show. And today we have Robin Coates with us and we're in her kitchen today. So Robin, what are we going to make today? Well, we're going to make um, what is my family's all-time favorite summer dessert. And it's going to be strawberry shortcake. Oh, yummy. And I love strawberry shortcake, but I did not grow up having strawberry shortcake because when I grew up, I thought strawberry shortcake was, you know, when you go to the grocery store and you see the sponge. Oh, the little spongy The little sponge yeah. cakes. That is what I thought it was. strawberry mm -hmm. shortcake was. And it just, that just really never appealed to me. And then after I got married, this is my sister-in-law's. She makes this strawberry shortcake. And now... The first signs of summer, we get this recipe out and we have this all summer long. And then when summer's over, no more strawberry shortcake. So um, the first thing you're going to want to do is, act, I actually kind of have this divided into three steps. Okay. First of all, you're going to um, get the strawberries ready because that's the portion that takes the longest. Right, it would. And then the second step is going to be getting your, now we're going to we're gonna make, it's going to be real whipped cream. Oh, yummy. Um, yes. <laughs> so that will be the second step because that's the thing that takes the, the longest step, the strawberries. And then the third thing is actually making the shortcake, which is actually really quick. Okay. So we're going to start off. What I've done is I've got two quarts, and a quart is the rectangular shaped strawberries. Yes. Um, and, you, and we're going to just cut those up two quarts, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a half a cup of sugar to that. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to um, to add this. And this is something that you may want to, depending on how fresh um, your strawberries are, if they're really fresh and if it's in season, they're going to be juicy. And so it's not going to take them long to juice up. If it's you know if you're doing this when it's when they're out of season, you may want to keep them in the refrigerator longer because you want to get the thing that makes strawberry shortcake so good is that that strawberry syrupy mixture that you mm -hmm. get from the strawberries. So so having them sit in the refrigerator for a couple hours um, is great. If you don't have that kind of time, um, you can add a little bit of water to it. I've done that before. Right. So we're going to mix all of this up, and then we're just going to place this in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And once we do that, then we can kind of move on to our next step, which is going to be the um, whipping up or getting the whipped cream ready. Okay. Okay. So what I've what I've done here is I've just put two two cups of heavy whipping cream mm -hmm. into this. I like to use metal bowls because it's going to decrease your mixing time of the whip of the whipped cream. So I just am going to put two cups of heavy whipped cream, put it in a metal bowl, and I like to put mine in the freezer, the bowl and the cream, and for about 15 and to 20 minutes. Break. It won't break. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. Yes. And it's also going to, it, it gets it nice and cool so that you're not going to have to worry about whipping it. There's been times when I first started making this, I'd be like whipping the cream for like 10 minutes thinking, okay, I've, I've done something wrong, and it just takes a while. So so there's that. So we're going to put that in the freezer. Well, that's a good trick to know. I've got some aluminum pans, so. Yes. Okay. And they seem to work better. Um, they seem to work better. If you don't have one, you can use a ceramic or a mm -hmm. plastic, but they just don't get as cool as, as the metal right. the metal bowls do. And then the third step is going to be actually making the shortcakes. And so what I've done here is I've melted three tablespoons of butter. Okay. And when I do that, I like, always like to do it in the bowl that I'm going to um, make the shortcakes in so I don't have extra dishes that I'm going to have to wash. Good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't have any you won't cut here. any steps out of the equation that we can. Here I've got two and a half cups of, this is a, like a pancake mix, a baking mix. mix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to add that. And I, you also add, um, by the way, I am going to put this recipe um, on my blog site, which okay. is www.thesuadesofa.com. So um, people will be able to go to my website to get that. I'll also post the video so you, can, you don't have to grab the paper and the pen and, and try to remember this as we're going by. Okay, so we've got our three tablespoons of butter that's been melted are two and a half cups of the pancake um, mix. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got three-fourths cup of uh, milk. Now, 
the kind of milk I have around the house is skim milk. Mm -hmm. um, it, use whatever you have. If you've got whole milk or 2% milk, you know, if you've got the whole milk or 2%, it's probably going to be a little more rich, and that's great. So mm -hmm. use whatever you've got. Okay. So it doesn't make a difference what kind of milk. No. Okay. no. okay, then I'm also going to add two, I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, and that's that's all it is for this for this for the shortcake portion. Okay, okay. So we'll mix here. that up. Yes, mix that up. Yes. Okay, and it's going to be a little sticky, which is kind of the consistency you're going for. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, now what I've done is I. I've got a cookie sheet here that I always mind my cookie sheets because I don't want extra work to do extra work. And so we're going to just go ahead and we're going to make our shortcakes. And I'll have you help me with this. Sure. Okay. And you can do this with your hands. Dig in and yeah, you can just do this with your hands. And I usually do, for, for our family, this usually makes about six because, mm -hmm. you know, we have grand, you know, grandparent over or whatever. Um, and, and I just kind of flat them out. If you've got little kiddos, have them help. Oh, they'll enjoy that. <laughs> yes. Well, and with this, you can make little ones or you can make big ones. Yes. Yep. Just depends. So it looks here like, well, I'll give you that last one. And so you're just, you don't have to be exact about it. You can just, you're just basically making kind of little shortcakes that are mm -hmm. almost, there you go. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to bake this for, I bake this for uh, 13, of around 13 minutes mm -hmm. um, at 350 degrees. So can we'll go ahead. Yes, you can do that. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. All right. So while that is baking, we're going to start getting our, we're going to get our cream out and we're going to get our cream ready. Okay. Okay. So. Once you take your cream out of the freezer, it's, you're going to see that it's kind of crystallized around the side, and the more, the better. Mm -hmm. um, and all you're going to do is just add, I like to add a half a cup of, this is a powdered sugar. Oh, okay. And now I've kind of totally done this to my taste. If it's not sweet enough, add more. Add more. Mm -hmm. If it's too sweet, add less. Okay. All right, we're going to just stir that up. And get that stirred up, and then you're going to take an electric mixer, or if you have, you know, if you've got a heavy-duty mixer that can do it mm -hmm. for you, do that. But the colder this is, the shorter it'll take. I mean, it, it normally will take me, if I've got it in the freezer for the 15 to 20 minutes, it'll take me five minutes or less oh, okay. to whip it up. Okay, so here's what your end product um, whipping cream will look like. It's oh, nice yeah. and thick. Really peaked up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, now it's time to put this all together. So let's get you a plate. There we go. And we've got our, we've got our, let you take one. Okay. And take the top one. And we're just going to cut them in half. One of the things I really like about this recipe is the, these shortcakes kind of have this, um, the mixture has like, like it's kind of salty. It's kind of got the sweet, salty oh, thing yes. going on. So it's just a very good and combination. And it's a good taste. It is a very together. good taste. Mm -hmm. By the way, one thing I did fail to mention is if you want a little um, twist on it, you may want to, in the shortcake, in the shortcake uh, recipe or um, when you're adding the shortcake ingredients, you may want to take a lime, what's that's on a lime? A lime, lemon, or an orange, and um, do some dust oh. it. You know, so if you're yeah, wanting a little bit into the, the batter. batter, into the batter, mix it up, and you've got a little bit of a, a twist on that would shortcake. Be. That would be. So okay, now it's time to get our strawberries. Mm -hmm. And here is what our strawberries look like. And now, if you'll notice, I've had these in the refrigerator oh, for just for a couple really hours, juicy. and mm -hmm. you can see that there's a lot of syrup in there. And so we're just going to start adding strawberries to the first layer. 
and make sure you get some of that really good okay. juice yeah. and pour that on. It's very good to get that mm. all soaked up in the shortcake. Okay, and then we're going to top it. We're going to do one more layer of strawberries. This is the part where I really like to <laughs> get it soaked in there. Okay. And this is actually, relatively speaking, this is a pretty quick dessert. This is something you can whip up with and in a short notice. You normally have these things in the refrigerator anyway. So. Yes, there you go. And let's get a, a nice oh, big dollop of that. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. All right. There you beautiful. go. Okay. Beautiful. Now it's time to taste. Oh, yes. <clears throat> And make sure you get a little bit uh, of everything, but make sure your shortcake has been drenched in that, in that yummy, uh, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. You know, when you make homemade whipped cream, you may never go back to the whipped cream yeah. in, in the bottle <laughs> or in the can. Because it is just, it's so easy to do, mm -hmm. and it is so delicious and, and so yummy. Well, and a lot of people, because they have the other available, they've never done this. Mm -hmm. They don't know how. Yeah. And so it's good that you have told us how to do that, mm -hmm. how to put in the powdered sugar, and to, to beat it up real well. It so. is easy, you know, just easy. Uh -huh. And and I know a lot of, you know, a lot of people want something that's going to be fast and easy, and making whipped cream. Mm-hmm is really that easy. Well, and this is a wonderful summer treat, and we thank you so much for showing us how you do it here, <laughs> and so we're probably all going to be doing this tonight. I need to go get some strawberries. Mm. I don't think I have any in the, any more in the fridge. You know, another neat thing my family has done, when I was in high school, my dad and I, or maybe it was actually junior high, I was a farm girl, uh -huh. but my dad and I, we, we went and we planted 12 strawberries plants in our garden, and you, it, it takes a couple years to get going. I've heard that. But we had, we would, and I was living, I lived in South Dakota, so the seasons obviously are different up there and they're shorter. But we would literally go pick probably close to a gallon of strawberries a day. I mean, oh and fresh goodness. strawberries out of the garden, it's just hard to beat that. So um, if you are so inclined, you may want to, you know, if you have a little garden plot mm -hmm. or an area where you could put it in a garden, you may want to do that. Um, an excellent way to do it is if you can get some railroad ties, get, you know, a railroad tie, make a little square box and fill it with dirt and mm -hmm. plant some strawberries. If that's not quite your cup of tea, there's strawberry farms that you can go and pick your own strawberries and just kind of make a, an event. A family event. Yes. Right. Yes. Nice. Okay. Well, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to leave Robin and her kitchen, but look at this wonderful strawberry treat. And this is Martha McCoy with the Chanute Channel.